Learning is really a tough task, right? It's really boredom. Yes, it's not only for you or me. For human being, it's a difficult task. We resist learning because of our brain structure. But if that is the case, all successful people are all great learners. They learn new things and adapt to the changing world and they are so successful. Do they follow any special techniques? Yes, true of course. There are some simple techniques which every successful follow for new learning. Want to know more about this? Let's go into the video to know about the great easy techniques. In this video, we are going to see the neuroscience behind learning new things and the tactics to learn easily. First, let's see the neuroscience behind the new learning. For learning new concepts, our brain needs more energy. When we take up a new learning, prefrontal cortex, which is a conscious part of the brain, plays the important role. The brain needs more energy to run this prefrontal cortex and moreover it has a small bandwidth, hence it can concentrate only on one work at a time. This explains the reason why we get tired when we try new learning or new things and thus we experience pain and discomfort whenever we wanted to learn new things. Hence, Neurologically, we can prove that human beings resist new learning. Now, let's see the techniques to learn easily. The first technique is chunk splitting. Reading the complete content at a stretch stress our brain too much. Hence, we need to split the content into small chunks for easy understanding. Also, reading loud is proven to be more effective for easy understanding. The second technique is relating. After reading, we can try to relate to a known concept. For example, if you are learning about ice, we can relate to a camera. Thus, relating with a known thing, we remember better. The third technique is recollecting and writing. Asking questions to ourselves and writing in the form of notes is the best way to recollect what we learn. The fourth important technique is discussing with others. When we start discussing with others about what we learn, seems our understanding gets enhanced since we may gain more information from others than what we read by ourselves. Because we do learn much when we hear from others rather by reading by ourselves. The fifth important technique is teaching others. Teaching others is the best way to learn. As soon as we learn something, we need to teach it to others. Studies reveals that 100% of knowledge is obtained if and only if we teach others. Hence, Sharing our knowledge to others is the best way to learn new things. Hope you got a better understanding of learning. The neuroscience began the resistance in learning. Well, henceforth you see simple techniques of learning like dividing your content into small chunks so that you'll feel easy to learn and secondly by taking notes and repeating yourself and discussing with others and finally more importantly teaching others sharing your knowledge with others by this technique you will never forget what you learn so teach others share your knowledge if you don't share your knowledge you may tend to lose your knowledge a candle never loses its light if it lights another candle so learn and teach others Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like, please do share and subscribe. This is Devi Nyanashegar. Thank you. Thanks for watching.